Hello and welcome to this video where I show you how to make YouTube Shorts with Doodly. So first of all we need to go to create new video. So I'm going to pick Glassboard and I'm going to call it Shorts. And I'm going to put hash, hashtag Shorts in. YT hashtag Shorts. And we need to go to Resolution. Now you'll notice down here we don't have a portrait orientation or portrait resolution. So we need to go to Custom. And we need to take off constraint aspect ratio. If we don't it'll all go wrong. So our width, we want to be 1080 and our height, we want to be 1920. So it's just what it is normally backwards. If we did constraint aspect ratio, it would always scale to the 16 to nine aspect ratio, which we don't want. So we click create. And now you can see that's in a portrait orientation. Now, one thing with YouTube Shorts is they're going to be viewed on phones. That means you want to put your captions on. So in Scene settings, go here, turn subtitles on and we'll get captions and they'll go down the bottom. We need to remember our captions go down the bottom so we don't want to put anything down the bottom that's going to be overlaid by the captions. The other thing to remember with YouTube Shorts is it has to be under a minute, has to be in the portrait format and, it's, and it needs to loop really. So you need something that's going to loop. So I'm going to do a very quick YouTube Short here. You'll notice the text is tiny. So what we need to do, we need to really get it to fit like that. So a guide to making, to using Doodly to make, and then we'll have in here. dot 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 YouTube shorts so let's have a prop in here and let's go for a phone Let's go for a video. And I'm going to copy this because I'm going to put in Hashtag shorts. Look at me with my hashtags. And this needs to be down the bottom. So we're going to need to make that a little bit smaller so it fits on the screen. And in our captions, we're going to put big G video explains how to use Doodly to make YouTube shorts. And at the end, I want it to stay for three seconds. So now I'm going to put in a new scene. And remember, we want it to be able to be viewed on loop. We need a rectangle. We need some text. We want to really maximize what we can get in, put it in the middle. There we are. Put that in. Copy paste. So, 80. Copy paste. 90. I want an arrow. Smaller. Oh, and that is a perfect size, but it's, it's too big in comparison to the other one, so I'm just going to do that. And I'm going to go with this. Okay, so do that. And we can probably move space this out. So I'm going to select everything together, which is very tricky, indeed. 
maybe I don't know, oh yeah, okay. So let's space that out, bring that down. And I'm just gonna worry about the scene settings. I want it for three seconds at the end. I'm not gonna put subtitles in because this accurately explains what to do. I don't want three seconds for that. I have one and a half for all of them. Okay, and now I need a clock. And I am now going to use captions just so when I render it, you can see the difference, you know, how well captions play out. Just see there. Oh, it's so tiny. The video must be under 60 seconds in length. So let's put another three seconds on at the end. I wouldn't really, you know, having seen the size, I wouldn't really recommend it. But, you know, I'm going to put it in there so that we can see at the end what, what it's like. So we've got transitions between slides. We are thankfully under 60 seconds. So I'm going to put one more, one more scene in. And I'm just going to put this. Don't forget to add hashtag shorts to the title. Now I'm going to break this up. I'm going to word wrap it because I want it to, I want to fill the whole screen with it. I don't think I'm going to be able to do that. I don't think I'm going to be able to. I'm going to put the grid on because I want to get this in the middle. I've got snap grid on. So, so difficult to tell. I'm in the middle. I think I'm in the middle. And I'm just going to put a little slide bit in right at the end of this one. Scene settings. You can pick two. This is quite a lot of text. I'm going to go three seconds here. And here. Yeah, I quite like that. So I just want to show previous scenes. See what that has. Yeah, well, I'm happy with that. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to render this and we're going to have a look at it. So I've now made it. It's now rendered. Let's have a look. So that looks good. Down the bottom, we can see the caption is too small, really. I don't know how it would reproduce on a phone, but I think it's too small. So I think I would change that. I also think this diagram could be bigger. Really make the most of a small screen and make that bigger. Yeah, and I, I would put the yeah, I would get rid of the caption here and I would just write it. And yeah, that's not good. So I'm going to change it and then I'm going to show you it with the changes. So what I've done is on watching the video, I've made a few changes. I've increased my font size and my subtitles here to be 65. And so when I go and preview this, you can see that that's now big enough and it fills enough of the screen and it doesn't clash here with what I'm writing. So that's one thing I've done. I've also dropped the time at the end of this um, scene down to one second because there's quite a lot here. Going on to this scene, I've removed the arrows. I'm just gonna center that a bit different. I've removed the arrows and I've made this bigger to fill the scene. Now, the arrows would scale and the arrows would be massive, so I've got rid of them, so I've just got this in here. For this scene, I've set the font size for the subtitles to 100, and therefore I've moved this up. So let's just do a scene preview. You can see we get this in, which is much better. Now, with this being, with this being where it was before, it would have, they would have clashed, so I've just moved this up. And I've taken off the zoom in on this bit. I, I don't want that, so I've taken that off. So you can have a look at the end video now.